Hey yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different from all the rest. I'm trying to be unique, right? So what I hope to accomplish from this video is more or less a thought experiment. So I'm going to take a set. I'm going to give my very unpopular opinion on said set and hopefully convince you guys that some of the sets that you consider best in slot or meta are actually not that good. Now I would appreciate you guys. Please keep your comments very constructive down in the the towel section below so this is again a thought experiment so without further ado fellas let's get into it welcome back guys before we get into the bread and butter of today's video a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members without whom this channel would not be possible really guys i, I thank you much love okay so what set am I talking about guys? Now we will be using my Magic of Dragonite as a reference because this set is only relevant on this class and usually the Magplar. Okay, so the set we're talking about, as you guys have probably already guessed, is Daedric Trickery. Now, this is a very good set. Do not get me wrong. I'm not going to shun anyone from running this set or calling you inferior or what have you. That's not the point of this video. The whole point of this video is to kind of pan out and really think about a true in-game in PvP. So, having played this game for seven years, I've had a lot of time to think about a lot of sets and possible combinations, and the way I look at sets, I try to assign like a value to them, right? So let's say if a set has like a spell damage trait for the two-piece, or you know, a three-piece has you know more spell damage, that's that's one plus one, and then usually I weight the uh, the five piece anywhere from uh, two to five points you know just kind of in my head i mean this isn't written down anywhere this is just how i view sets in the game and then essentially i just accumulate all the points sauce them on a build and usually that's how you get your heaviest stat product you know the, the most bang for your buck so to speak on your build um that's how i kind of like to weight my sets so let's take a look at danger trickery for a moment um danger trickery has an amazing five piece um but Let's take a look at the two, three, and four pieces for a second. So Daedric Trickery. This will give you maximum health. Most people, again, we will be using my Magic of Dragonite as a point of reference. Um, health is really good, perk, but guys, the one thing about health you guys don't understand, or some of you all don't, let's say, for example, you have 25k health on your front bar, and you swap to your back bar, you have 27k health, okay? So you lose 2k health right there. So if your front bar and your back bar health are offset, you actually lose that health swapping between the bars. So having health on your back bar only is completely useless. Let's go on to the third piece. Maximum stamina. Again, if your pools are different from your front and your back bar, these stats are pretty much useless. So if you have more stamina on your back bar, then you do your front bar when you're swapping between the two, assuming you have a maximum mat a maximum stamina pool, you're going to lose that stamina, okay? So the two pieces, maximum health, Pretty, pretty pretty useless in my opinion. Maximum stamina also pretty useless. We go on to the fourth piece, Maximum Magica. Now this can help your healing a little bit, uh, not really. Um, the only reason this is even there, I, I, I don't know, this doesn't help whatsoever. Now this was like a spell and weapon damage, yeah, I, I can see this being really helpful, but as far as Daedric Trickery goes, the two, three, and four piece items are just completely useless to me. So the only counter arguments to the set is going to be the five piece which is the five piece is pretty good so the five piece is as it follows when you do damage you gain one of five random major buffs for 21 seconds every nine seconds so essentially you can almost triple stack these buffs so some of the eligible buffs are major expedition protection mending heroism and vitality all right so let's start breaking this down we will just go ahead and break them down in order of that they appear so first one major expedition why this is not necessary so first of all there is multiple ways to get this with a skill such as channeled acceleration race against time whichever one you want to use you can also use potions to get major expedition so major expedition while being good it's, you can account for it in your build with just a skill or a simple potion, right? So Major Expedition to me really isn't all that great because you're going to be snared anyway. So unless you have some sort of snare removal, you're not really going to benefit from Major Expedition whatsoever. And let's, you know, we're taking my Dragonite, for example. The only way you're going to get snare immunity is if you run the Sigic Order skill line anyway. So 
you're double dipping into major expedition so this perk is completely worthless on the dk plus you can have 100 percent uptime by running the skill whereas this is a one in five chance next major protection so this is my biggest qualm because people think that this is what really makes you tanky you guys you can get major protection many ways in this game so first of which is um lingering flare this, this is the weakest counter argument to this is lingering flare from the support skill line you slot this on your back bar you get major protection 100 percent of the time okay i get it. no one wants to waste a slot for major protection i mean i can just use it in a 5p set okay so my next point is the champion system so in the champion system there is a champion point i forget the name off the top of my hand hopefully future josh does the editing really well and you can get major protection every time you get cc'd so the counter argument to this is hey i rather have major protection for 21 seconds as opposed to only having it up three seconds for every six second cd so let me break down the math a little bit so let's say you get cc'd every six seconds which i, I think is a cooldown something like that so you can get cc 10 times a minute now this passive since you won't get cc 10 times a minute so let's say you do get cc'd off cooldown right so that means of the 60 seconds half of it you're going to have major protection so six seconds cooldown you guys get it during that six second cc window period three seconds of that you have major protection so that being said, if you just have this champion point system, you can have major protection up for 30 seconds per minute. So we take a look at Daedric Trickery over here and it's 21 seconds, okay? For however long, and plus it's a one in five chance. Do you really want to roll your survivability on a gamble, okay? So that is my point for major protection. Next, let's talk about major mending so major mending is i don't think you can easily get this on the dragonite so this would be the only super hard counter argument against this is that major mending so um if you take a look at my magic dragonite you probably i don't know if you guys have seen it or not but i typically run a restoration staff the restoration staff gives you a lot of healing percentages you know it, it, it bolsters your healing so if you if you run powered also on your restoration staff i think i forget the exact passive of the restoration staff on hand hopefully future josh does good on his editing as well um pretty much counteracts the whole major mending aspect of it now again this is like a one in five chance to just get major mending um but we'll kind of leave that aside this is the weakest counter argument that i have for this set it's tough to get major mending so but you can kind of offset it by running a powered restoration staff next uh, we're going to skip heroism we'll come back to that one but we're going to go to vitality so major vitality um again you can get all these with potions i'm not going to use potions as a crutch for every single one of these counter arguments because you know come on you're kind of beating the, the nail on the head at that point so major vitality you can get this by completing a fully charged resto heavy attack and you can get this anytime you want right it only takes like a second and a half to can to channel it and plus you get healed for it plus you get resources back plus you get major vitality for i think three to four seconds so having major vitality as a buff is isn't really you know all that beneficial especially with all of the um, defiles that you want to run into defile tanks you know stuff in groups your healing is really going to be diminished with major mending and major vitality also the dk has an ability to give you major vitality as well i forget what it is it's the rock boy again future jaws please help me out with this one last but certainly not least is major heroism now this one i'm gonna get a lot of crap about in the comments that is entirely okay that is the point of this video so major heroism there's no other way to get this besides a set bonus or your champion points now your champion points there is actually a champion point that can give you 100% of time on your major heroism if you like playing on the edge if you like living on the knife's edge you can definitely get major heroism for forever right you, you just have to know what you're doing so major heroes heroism can be taken care of in your champion points not potions there, there's no potions for this one you can get minor heroism with potions which are very expensive mind you so the only reason you run major heroism is for your sustain so you have your battle war passive which states that anytime you use your ultimate you get resources back so 
This would be the only counter argument for having major heroism is that you need the sustain. Guys, again, taking Magicka Dragonite as an example here, I realize there's other classes that can run Daedric Trickery, but we're just focusing on Magicka Dragonite. You do not need major heroism. The only thing that you possibly need for your class to sustain is a charge weapon trait and some cost reduction, maybe, maybe some cost reduction. I run infused cost reduction because I'm a degenerate, okay? So, using Daedric Trickery also as a source of sustain is, is not reliable. Again, guys, it's a one in five chance. When I look at a build, I want a set that gives me consistency. I don't want to randomly have god tier resources and then the next fight two minutes later i'm completely out you know i i don't like that feeling also same thing with healing same thing with tankiness i feel that this set leads you into like a false sense of security of how your build actually performs so i prefer more consistent item sets such as iron blood <laughs> cough cough which gives you 30 percent damage mitigation and no other skill or slot or passive or anything like that can possibly give you that amount of mitigation so i like sets like that now may be an unpopular opinion again i'm not calling anyone out for running daedric trickery but the tldr is that daedric trickery has terrible two three and four piece bonuses it has a complete RNG chance to where you're going to be able to 1vx or not. And quite frankly, it's just a super lazy way to get these major buffs on your Magicka Dragonite. I would even suggest running Kind Marchers over Daedric Trick on your back bar, if I'm being honest. But uh, yeah, uh, that's really all I had to say about Daedric Trickery. I know I missed a lot of counter arguments. I had to cut this short because of the allotted time. I'll try to keep this around 10 minutes or so because I know you guys are busy, especially around the holidays. But now let me know what you guys think about what I said down here in the comments. I want to kind of start doing a series like this to just kind of get you guys to think outside of the box. I know a lot of you all who watch my channel are veterans of PvP that you've theory crafted your heart's content and you probably do this for a living. But to newer players or average players who want to truly get to the in-game PvP, I feel it's very important to have an understanding that just because a popular streamer or even myself says that a set is super popular and super good does not necessarily mean that it's going to be best for you we all have our different play styles and the way we want to envision eso that's perfectly fine all i'm saying is that i want you guys to keep an open mind about your builds which is you know again the true game of in-game pvp is theory crafting unique you know kind of cliche builds that work for you so with all that being said, guys, this has been Horcrux. Please consider giving the channel a like and sub if you like this sort of content, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.